Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is March 30th, 2024, and Barcelona have officially sent Pau Cuarci the first contract renewal offer. Also, Lewandowski has communicated his official decision to his agent in regards to his departure in the summer transfer market. And finally, Kavara is currently in negotiations with Napoli to extend his contract. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the kit bag and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you hit a bet us both links for kit bag and bet us are down below in the description now begin with the news that Barcelona defeated Las Palmas 1-0 today with a goal by Rafinha and therefore cutting the distance between them and Real Madrid to five points only. But of course, Real Madrid still have to play their respective match tomorrow against Athletic Club de Bilbao, which will be a difficult match for the Madrid-based club. Now, if Madrid do draw tomorrow against Athletic Club de Bilbao, the distance between Barcelona and first place will shrink to six points. And of course, if Madrid do lose, then Barcelona will be able to maintain that five-point difference between them and first place. Now, I did do a post-match live analysis analyzing the match of Barcelona. So if you do want to hear my review of today's match, make sure to check out the video on my channel. Now, as I reported in a previous video, Eduardo Romeo, the vice president of finance of Barcelona, announced his resignation not too long ago. And this was, of course, a big loss for Barcelona because Eduardo Romeo was an incredibly important person within the board of directors. He is the architect of the financial recovery of Barcelona. He's the person behind the economic levers and he was the person in charge of securing the funding for the Espai Barca project, which of course includes the total renovation of the Spotify Camp Now. Now, Barcelona officially announced the resignation of Eduardo Romeo through a statement that they released on all their social medias and on their website. And one thing that went un undetected under the radar and not many outlets talked about is that in that announcement, there's a small paragraph where Barcelona announced that they're not gonna be replacing Eduardo Romeo with anyone else. And that that position is going to remain vacant. Now, in my opinion, this is a little bit unsettling because when Barcelona CEO Ferran Reverter resigned, Laporta had initially promised to replace him with someone. He hasn't done that and instead Laporta has been acting as both the president and the CEO. We also don't have anyone in the position of sporting VP, which Laporta has always has also been acting in that role. And now that we don't have anyone in the VP of finance, that begs the question, who will be taking on that position? Is it gonna be Laporta as well? Because a few days before Eduardo Romeo resigned, we also had the resignation of Maribel Melendez, the director of the corporate area of Barcelona, which it seems that Barcelona are also not intending on replacing that position, which also begs the question, is, is Jean Laporta also going to be taking an up on that position, which if he is, again, it's a little bit unsettling to me because these are very important positions. There are positions that are busy enough for just one person, let alone for one person to be doing the job of five people. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that John Laporta is an incredibly capable person. I think he is the best person to be Barcelona's president, especially during these difficult times. I think there's no one better than Laporta to take Barcelona at a difficult time that uh, they're currently in. But no matter how capable John Laporta is, nobody is that capable of doing the job of five people. Everybody needs to delegate. People have to have their own roles. Otherwise, things will slip through the cracks because when you are dividing your attention against multiple positions, these positions are not are gonna be somewhat neglected. So I am really worried about what's going on with Barcelona right now, especially with their decision not to fill such an important role, which is the vice president of finance. But as always, I do love to hear from you guys. So let me know down below, what do you think about Barcelona deciding not to fill the position of Eduard Romeo? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section. Now on to the news that Barcelona have officially sent Pau Cuarci 
their first contract renewal offer. Now, as I reported in a previous video, Barcelona want to tie up Pau Cuarci for as long as possible because, of course, they consider him a cornerstone of Barcelona's project. Cuarci's contract does expire in the summer of 2026. So even though he still has two seasons left on his contract, Barcelona want to not only extend it, but also shield the player from outside influence because Cuarci's current release clause sits at 10 to 12 million euros, which is incredibly low for a person with so much quality and promise as Pau Cuarci. And it's a price that's very much affordable for any big club that would like to pouch or poach, I'm sorry, Pau Cuarci away from Barcelona. Well, Barcelona have been negotiated with Pau Cuarci to not only extend his contract, but also to increase his release clause uh, to much higher than 10 to 12 million euros. And it's now being reported that Barcelona have officially sent their first offer renewal to Pau Cuarci, which includes a 1 billion euro release clause. And of course, Barcelona are confident that they can finalize the negotiations between both parties before the season ends, because Barcelona consider the contract renewal of Cuarci as top priority. And speaking of players staying at the club, Robert Lewandowski has officially communicated his decision to his agent, Pini Sabi, that he will not be leaving in the summer transfer market. Now we've been talking about Lewandowski these past few days because Barcelona have received some pretty lucrative offers from Saudi Arabia who are looking to pay Barcelona a lot of money for the services of the Polish striker. They're also looking to pay the Polish striker a lot more money than what Barcelona are currently paying him in his salary. But now all the speculation has officially come to an end as Lewandowski has told Pinisabi that he has no intention of leaving Barcelona in the summer, that he wants to continue at the Blaurana club. And it's reported that this news has been welcomed by the Barcelona board who want to continue counting on Lewandowski because after all, he is the top scorer of Barcelona, not just this season, but of course last season where he also won the Pichichi award as a top scorer in the entire Spanish league. And speaking of players closing the door to their possible departure from their respective clubs, it's being reported that Hivicha Cavarazquelia is currently in negotiations with Napoli in order to extend his contract with the Serie A club. Now, Kevicha Cavarazquelia has been linked with Barcelona these past few weeks when his agent was seen in the city of Barcelona meeting with Deco. And even though there's been a lot of talks that maybe Barcelona could possibly sign Cavarazquelia for the left wing where Barcelona currently have no one, it seems that that door has temporarily closed as Cavarazquelia is currently in negotiations with Napoli to extend his contract from 2027, which is its current expiration, till 2028 with a dramatic increase in salary because it's reported that Cavarazquelia's salary is low at Napoli. It does not reflect his status as one of the biggest stars of the Serie A team. And as such, Napoli are looking to increase his salary while at the same time adding one more season tying up the Georgian attacker to the Serie A club until 2028. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I'd like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Bisca Barça.